Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Tia Rune, and we are in the Temple of Droga with a lot of friends. We have AC Gamer, who is on Cuban. We have El Wapo the Flapo, the monk that thinks that he's not overweight until his weight is in red. <laughs> Bushido Bull, we have Asari, who's Terafina, we have Lumidin, who's Trev, and then we have RX Dealer, who is Shix, the dealer who is almost level 39, ready for that complete heal, ready to throw down, and we decided that we wanted to just, you know, go somewhere that n not everyone else is going to be, that we were going to have to wait in line or try to cut out our own little camp uh, around other people so this is where we ended up coming and it went really well we got some levels i ended up getting level 37 i think ac ended up getting level 39 and rx dealer got level 38 while we were here as well so I want to talk to you guys about the things that are going to be happening soon. We have WoW Classic coming out soon, and then we also have Green that should be coming out in October. No release date or anything like that. And really waiting for info on it as to how they plan to deal with that. If it's going to merge into blue whenever it reaches its pinnacle. Uh, but until then, um, I have plans for, for, for Green. Did I say blue? Green? Anyway, green. Green is um, coming up. So, I wanted to first talk about my history in EverQuest. I started EverQuest about a week, a week or so after the game had released. I was working as a work study at the college I was going to at the time. And my, my boss, Mr. Groff, ended up coming in one day because we were both gamers. I mean... He may he may have been my boss, but he was he was a young guy, and uh, he came in and said, "Have you heard about this game called EverQuest?" I was like, "No, I've I've been looking for a new game to play," and so he loads it up on uh, one of the computers at work, and he shows me his druid, and I don't remember for the life of me what his druid's name was, but I know later on in in his levels he ended up going evocation as his primary specialization everyone was telling him he should go with alteration or, or something else but uh he ended up showing me the game and was like i'm 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 down so i went home uh that night after buying the game and installed it and i made a wizard have no clue what his name is now because i didn't keep him for very long I had got home, and like I said, I played EverQuest for probably the whole night. I got my wizard to level 9. I was still in Tox Forest, leveling him. And the next day, I go in, and I tell my boss, Hey, I got my wizard. He's level uh, level 9. This is his name. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and he goes, Have you heard about Freeport? It's supposed to be an area where people are trading. Uh, you should be able to find... Uh, upgrades, things like that. I was like, well, that um, sounds pretty cool. I had a cloth map, so I kind of knew where I was supposed to be heading. And um, I knew that there was a boat in Eden, so I, I went home that night and I took the boat and got to Kinos. I was talking to people as I was going through. And they told me uh, where to go for Freeport, and so I started going into the Karanas, got to North Karana. And I saw that uh, there was two ways I could have gone. I could have gone um, south through Wraith, and, or I could have gone north. And so I went ahead and decided I was going to go north, because I didn't know any of the zones at the time. And so I started going up the hill in East Karana towards High Keep, or High Pass, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, I was doing good, nothing that attacked me, I was able to skirt the, skirt near, uh, the guard who walks back and forth, and he protected me on my way to the ramp. Once I was probably 90% up the ramp, I, I don't know if I looked away, got a drink, something, next thing I know, I'm falling off the, the freaking cliff, and I died. So, I'm like, okay. 
I, I'm gonna head back. So I started back in Arden, <laughs> took the boat, got all the way back, finally found my corpse, and started heading up the hill again. Didn't fall off, and I zone in the high pass, and I get killed by a knoll. I'm like, I, I'm not doing this again. So I, I ended up quitting the wizard. I think I deleted the wizard, to be honest. I was kind of furious at the time. The next day, I ended up making a bard. His name was Tindar. T-I-N-D-A-R. And I liked it. I liked the versatility of the class. I got level 5 pretty quickly. And ended up going to do some Black Burrow and things like that. And around level 12 or so, I went to um, Everfrost. And was doing tailoring because... Uh, I was exploring, I saw that there was a tailoring merchant right outside of Hallis, and they had all the patterns, so you could do, um, I don't know what that, patch armor, or whatever it's called. So I, uh, I started making patch armor, started giving it away to all the new people, and said, if you kill polar bears and give me the skins, I will make you the armor. And so that's what I did. So for probably about an hour and a half and finally a guild rolls in called random acts of kindness i was like okay this is pretty cool because they they come up they start buffing everybody they start handing out bronze weapons and things like that and i talked to the guild leader at the time hemadryad and i said hey um i don't know what you guys do normally but this is a really cool idea and that's that's kind of what i wanted to be a part of i wanted to be able to get things or make things and help people by just handing them out and so i ended up joining and um probably around level 20 or so i switched gears i was like you know i, I want to try something different I, i've played the bard for a while i like it but I, I'm just not getting out of it what I what I want, and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a warrior. So I ended up making a character. His name was Almagar, O U M M A G G A R, I think, or something like that. And uh, got him level pretty quick. You know, when I say pretty quick, back then. <laughs> that it was pretty quick for me because I had already had two other tunes and it just felt faster to me even though I know that they're now I know now not then that there was an experience penalty for being an ogre um I I felt like I was leveling pretty good I made enough money because I went to Guck and other places and I ended up uh, making my own armor made a full set of banded made myself my own weapons and around level 30, I went over to Kazakhstan, and I stayed there until level 40. I would go to the maze around level 30. Uh, there was this little nook that I would sit in, and I would just bind, rest there, and then I'd pull, and that's pretty much my whole time. I just did that. And then finally, I moved on to um, pulling the areas closer to um, the Avatar of Fears pyramid the actual pyramid top not not down where he actually spawns and around level 40 a group came in and they were like uh we're gonna be raiding the avatar of fear because someone found out he was up i was like oh that sounds awesome so they invited me as the tank and i mean (laughs) i ended up before i got level 40 i i did get a few rubicite pieces and um and I guess I was okay. I, again, still crafted armor or crafted weapons and um, banded armor with a little bit of roof sight mixed in. I wasn't the best tank, uh, but I was like, okay, cool. I'm, you know, the Avatar of Fear is um, pretty much a rendition of Kazakh Thul. I am a follower of Kazakh Thul. He's not going to hate me. <laughs> this is my thinking at the time. So I <laughs> go in. And we fight our way down. Um, we went through the, the alligator tunnels. Took us a while to get there. Had a few deaths, but we had a cleric or two and was able to get everybody res. Finally got there, and like I said, no fear. I'm going to just pull the lizards. Avatar of Fear isn't going to bother me. <laughs> pull. And Avatar of Fear just runs at me and hits me. Like, slaps me across the face with the harm touch. And I'm like, I'm gonna die. 
<laughs> but they were able to somehow keep me alive. We had a few druids, we had the clerics, um, and <laughs> so we ended up taking them down. And he dropped a rubicite breastplate. And that was my first really big piece of equipment, is I got the breastplate. Um, they weren't there for the breastplate, they were there just to have fun and experience fighting this, this guy. And with the amount of people we had, he really didn't last that long. He, he died pretty quickly, but even, even at those levels, he was hard. And even now, uh, when, when I take uh, Kords, who's 53, or take anyone down to farm Cenobite, if, I, if I'm killing that area and I get the Avatar of Fear, he's still a pretty decent fight. He's killable. It's not like I have too much of a problem, but he's still a pretty, pretty decent fight. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed my warrior. And so, I think when green goes live, I'm going to make both of my characters. So, I have the character that I'm going to group with my friends. Um, not that I won't group my warrior with my friends. It's just that we have a plan. You know, <laughs> a plan. Uh, and then I have my warrior that I want to make. Who's going to be named Almagar. Because... That's what I had before. But yeah, guys, um, we have that coming up really soon. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I really want to know more, though. I want If, if it's going to merge, I'm not really going to be that happy about it. If it's not going to merge, I'm going to be... I'm probably going to be switching over to green as my primary. And then um, I, I kind of want to be a part of a big guild. I, wanna, I, I don't know what guilds are going to move over. People are talking about aftermath going in and whatnot, but you know, I really don't. I don't care. I, I want to be a part of a big guild early on. Go to fear. Go to hate. Do all that at level 50. The hardest mobs in the zone. The ones that we still chase nowadays. On every 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 week on the three and five and seven days. Uh, I want to try those at level 50 instead of level 60 and see. What kind of crazy madness uh, and what kind of death loops we end up getting ourselves into? Because that's what it's going to be. I That's what it was back whenever I went to my very first hate raid. We all poured up at once and like half of our raid force died. Because at level 50, you get low, hell, uh, low level aggro instantly. So... Mobs are coming through walls, <laughs> they're coming from everywhere, and that break-in then is nothing like what we have for a break-in now, and that is what I'm really excited about, is, is just being part of that, and, uh, and experiencing that again, because, I mean, I, I'm, I'm expecting that it's gonna be a lot of people dying, uh, probably gonna have the wizards binding, and in Freeport with everyone else bound in Freeport so that as you die you're being ported back up by a wizard and <laughs> you just continue on the death loop looting your weapons and just getting in there I don't know I honestly don't know how it's gonna be but um I I expect that it's gonna be that experience that I felt back whenever I was that kid in it, working with my boss and him telling me about EverQuest for the first time. I think that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel. But let me know what about you guys. How what's your story about EverQuest? When did you start? What was your first really bad corpse run? And did you continue that character? Did you lose everything and have to start over? What was what was it that you did during during those times? And uh, leave them in the comments below wherever you see this video. And I will, uh, I'll try to get back to you guys. Just, you know. Thank you all for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. <laughs>